only play necessary games. We're about to find out if Shopify is in that category. What is necessary Dota? You never heard that term? No. Explain that to me. Well, that's just, you know, the games you need to win, stay in a tournament to win the tournament. Okay. Everything else they is just don't unnecessary. show up until it's an yeah. elimination match, basically. Why are you going to try in games that don't matter? They're unnecessary. Only play the necessary games. Hey, they're already off to a great start, everybody. We got two Ooh. bounty runes for Shopify Rebellion. They're on the board. I think both these drafts make a lot of sense. They both have stuns, team fight, heavy single target damage. And Roshan's they're the ability. ones to get the first blood, too. What a massive difference Yes, from game one start. Though so if I had to take a carry, I'm taking the Sven over the Ursa. I think Ursa has had struggles this meta for sure. Laning being one of them, Acceleration being another, and getting Roshan's, honestly. He, he has struggled to keep up the pace to deliver that Aegis that he requires. We'll see if Ame can make the most of it. You know what's funny about that? I'm pretty sure we casted one of the four Ursa games at this tournament. Mm-hmm. And I think we casted the one loss that it has experienced. Oh, okay. Well, I'm horribly biased then, but I still don't have much faith in this hero. Yeah, I think it's fair. It's only been picked four times for a reason, right? Do you agree with uh, the panel that this is lined up? Like, if it may not be an Ursa meta, but is it a good Ursa game? Yeah. I mean, all I think all the games we've seen Ursa on paper, it's a great game for the hero. And in some of those better Ursa metas, you would just destroy them. But it's a struggle. Why is it not a good Ursa meta? I mean, the hero is just not as strong. The items he builds aren't particularly amazing. Battle Fury has been nerfed in a lot of patches. You know, we're seeing a lot of Mjolnir carries, for example, just outpace them or heals with natural cleave mechanics. Okay. So these heroes that rely on Battle Fury for me are just down. Like him and Anti-Mage, for example, they're, they are very slow. They're just so slow to do anything. I'm going to say, the item's trash, man. The item's just trash. Why would you want a Battle Fairy when you can build a Maelstrom? Has there ever been a meta where both are vi equally viable, though? I feel like it's always Battle Fury or the Maelstrom. One or the other, never both. Oh, he missed that last hit. That hurts so much when you use Fade Bolt and still miss the last hit. So... Well, I like both drafts, honestly. I, I must admit it, Austin. My faith in Shopify Rebellion has been dashed a bit. Yeah. I, I'm just not feeling the gameplay execution right now. Not feeling the love? Nope. And we'll see if they can... That was a big CS. That was a big CS. We'll see if they can bring it back because they really need to. For their fans, for you, their for biggest me. fan. Don't you know I'm an NA hater now? Oh, okay. I spent a career being NA biased. Courier snipe. Double courier snipe, in fact. On both sides of the map, that's a lot of extra gold. 30 times 2 times 5. Wow. That's 300 right there. That's a lot. That's an extra bounty rune or two. Doesn't seem like this lane is going too bad, though. I mean, that's one of the starts for Ursa, right? Is the fact that usually you're in an offlaner matchup that you do really well against, and Centaur has no armor at the start. So usually Ursa is pretty good against him, but this lane. Ursa does not win any lanes in this meta. I refuse to believe you can win a lane with this hero. You can maybe farm and go even, but you cannot win it. It's just impossible. The, the hero does not trade well. Because he has no act, he has no base damage, he has no spells. The only way he wins is if he can get like six or seven stacks on him. Urshock's a spell. Just should Urshock used to be Urshock one of the most is annoying spell. spells. I, did I just hear you say Urshock is a spell? <laughs> yes, it is. 75 damage for 95 mana is a spell. Whoa, he Urshocked him. <laughs> Look at him go. No, this hero is a garbage laner. If you have any sort of nuke damage, you cannot lose a lane versus hero. Saberlight also had first blood, so he should be cruising on this lane. Like, maybe you get a cheeky kill, but that's it, you know? The offlaner is going to farm. Yeah. Okay. Another courier snipe. That had the boots on it. Okay, this is 
This is out of control now. They have a real opportunity to punish Ame really hard. But, I mean, he is doing well. I'm not discounting the fact that they played these early ways pretty damn well. But this lane should get difficult. And I expect the Centaur to run away with it, given the position Saberlight has been put in. What do you feel about uh, Death Prophet right now? I feel I think uh, I remember you saying that you feel pretty good about the hero. I think it's a good Death Prophet meta. The hero was maybe a little underperforming on its own. Yeah, it's only been picked eight times. It's uh, three and five at Dream League. Yeah, it hasn't looked great. It feels like the hero just doesn't heal enough to outpace the burst damage you can throw into it. But I think there's a lot of good items for this patch, and some of the items got buffed. Like, Shiva's got nerfed. Shiva's was a big one on the hero. Yeah. She's um, not a Bloodstone hero. No, but the so Sanj got buffed, and she does use that item pretty well. Like, it can be a good Halberd hero in some metas, like the offlane DP. I don't know. I, I want to see this hero more, but I think her spells make a lot of sense in the meta where every offlaner is a strength goober and <laughs> you know this hero is a still a very strong laner this hero almost guarantees you a lane win unless she's against like Lena or something so Yopaj having a very good time mid and yeah the you fact still have that Exo keep play around so look at that Shopfire Rebellion winning all three lanes you heard it here first folks they are. But they're not winning them by a massive amount. Exo with the catapult. This is how you can win them by a large amount. If you get something going. Shin Q, blood grenade to slow him down. DY teleports right on top good. of Blast Off lands. Yopaj is in trouble. Oh, but the spirit siphon. He's out healing the damage. He's good to go now. And he'll run down whoever's not in the tier two range, which means it's DY. That was a nice arrow from Theolicor. Shows up at the right time. If that DP dies there, it changes the entire trajectory of this game. Instead, they get the kill, and they're going to get the Wisdom Rune steal from Arteezy. Oh. This is already more early action they're than going that for this entire the Arc side, Warden though. game. Ame's making a break for it. Oh, Ame's not going to get there. Head oh, play. no. Going to hold the stun to waste more of his time here so he can't TP out. This is a disaster. He might even just be dead. Yeah, he's going to try and get in front of him here. If Ame. Only he could have earth shocked his way out of this <laughs> with such a powerful spell. <laughs> I mean, he could have. He could have earth shocked down the cliff. This is a really strong early game for Shopify. Firing on all cylinders. We've seen this be. The case in a lot of these games of 4k gold. It's so weird how they just went from completely discombobulated in game one to now. I mean, this draft is designed to pull ahead in this lane phase. Not going to be able to do that damage fast enough. Now they run yeah. back in with a stampede. He still has the fury swipes on him. Got to be careful. That one keeps his distance from the ear stuff and lets his supports go to work. Kid Track's gonna be slowed down by the bomb explosion. These hits that are coming in, they can't finish them off. They have to back away. The Centaur continues to challenge. He is strong. And we're seeing the weaknesses of Ursa in this game. That first blood on the Centaur did him no favors, but this hero just gets run down in the gank scenarios. Any sort of gank onto this hero, and he is not happy. He wants solo XP, he wants fast battle fury because the slower you get that in, the worse off you are. This is a rough spot to be in. The road to recovery is not easy for Ame. And Yopaj is clear to clean up here. Uh, this game's out of control. Got behind the tower, both supports guaranteed dead. They did a good job killing T. LaCour because there was yeah, take no that. other out there, but takes the two kills and takes the tower. And DP thrives in these games where you win lanes, you just mow down these towers, take away the space. He's even going to go top and try and get the bonus kill on the DK, the one hero who is finding something. Very cool play by Yopaj. Man, he makes some great rotations. I'm really going to get him here. If he so can keep, out, yeah. yeah, get enough mana to cast one of those Damn. spells. Everywhere in this early game. And his net worth reflects it. 
Army sitting on a blades of attack. XM not even gonna get that black dragon. This is absolutely oppressive from Shopify. He's gonna block up the next two camps too with the illusions. Nice, very smart, very smart. Brutal. Stolen traps. Uh oh, bruh. Kid Tracks is gonna start trapping up your triangle. You gotta kill him, man. Don't let him get away with that ability. Tosses away. Stampede's gonna get used. They're gonna go back in. Yopaj, he's connecting. Blood Grenade hits on XM. Theolacor, not sure if he can stay close. Yopaj will close that distance instead, but the Urs is here. Ame! Ame showing far. up. Building the stacks. Yep, he is working his way through this Death Prophet. Arrow sneaks on by, oh. it lands on the back lines, but it doesn't stop the Ursa. Kidrag with the stolen blast off doesn't do a damn bit. Shopify, what? throw away a little bit there. Yeah, wh why? Neopaz just got a little too excited. So much comeback gold for Ame. He had no business getting on a hero that was invincible. Like, look at how much damage it took to bring them down. And at the same time, you had stolen trap on Rubik that would have done so much damage on this map where you've lost towers. That was a lot to give up there. Yeah, imagine he gets a couple of traps in the triangle, gets a, exactly. a trap or two in this off lane, so the Dragonite is always, you know, he pushes forward. You can gank him easily. Saberlight has a blink dagger already. So he's making his first reveal of that one by killing Jin Q. The upside is you're so far ahead here on Shopify, you can just run it straight back. Yeah. And never give an ancient camp to XM again. I'm going to do it again. And Diving into tier two. They do have the sentry to spot XM. Wiped out. I mean, there's nothing stopping you just planning on these ancients. I don't know what actually you do about it other than you make, you know, four man smoke play. And block it up again here. Radiance Courier. I mean, this is a game where the net worth is just going to go up a thousand gold every minute because you have access to nothing right now if you're XG. And they don't have a playmaking core to, uh, to go behind. All right? It's too early for Templar Assassin uh, Blink Dagger to be doing something. You've got a Dragonite, which is kind of a slower offlaner. Dude, this game is so bad. <laughs> yeah, he's. In an ideal Ursa game, you have Battle Fury at like 13. Like, that's the theoretical dream. Uh -huh. We're approaching 13, <laughs> and he has queued Battle Fury. It is a dream. Ame is hoping to wake up right now, <laughs> and it's minute zero, and he gets to play this game over. Someone play the Evanescence song. 8k gold lead. Oh has been killed. God, just. Structures are fortified. Oh, jeez. Yopaj doesn't stop, and neither does Saberlight. Look, I, I don't often suggest it, but is this like a game that you just GG out like, <laughs> to save yeah, the mental sanity? Yeah. On to the next one, lads. Like, they won't because, you know, yeah, there is a chance job fight throws. We've, we've seen them throw some crazy ones, but like, nah, my no, no. God. This is guaranteed. Much like OG always loses game one and comes back game two the final series of the night will always go to game three all right i'll just go back you know what marana's favorite dessert is <laughs> <laughs> no what is it moon pies ah uh, yeah, got you with that one they said that was an actual one good night, great. That was the good one of the day. Would you like to hear the bad one of the day? I would love to hear the bad one of the day. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you later. It's actually too bad to see. <laughs> we say that bad, bad, bad or bad? Yeah, it's, it's embarrassingly bad. Hey, he went to Sanj. See, I told you, man. Yeah, I mean, it's a great Heaven's Albert game, right? I was talking about the Halberd. I was talking about the Halberd. It's great on this year. All right, calm, calm down there. This is the most exciting thing. I, I don't think you get many points for calling Heaven's Halberd against TA Ursa. When was the last DP Halberd you saw? I mean, not too long. I'm just, it's a very good Heaven's Halberd game. Oh, no. I just walked down to the Halberd store yesterday. 
Saw my local death prophet buying eight of them. I mean, she's neighbors with an Ursa, yeah. Here is the desperation smoke. And if this doesn't work, you may be smoking outside the hotel soon. Blink Dragon Tail. Kit track. No. 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 Don't worry, guys. We're halfway to the Battle Fury. <laughs> Zame even tell his team here. You're checking in with him. You know, almost got that battle for you, right? You're going to carry us, Ame? You do have this blink dragon. Like, like you, you have supports who can throw damage behind him. It's not possible to find something on the map right now. Yeah, they do have high damage supports. Tech also, like, Grimstrom. Shopify are just grouped behind their tier one waiting for this smoke on a courier. This is... That was very slow. They're going to try and backstab bottom and convert it into a tier two. Solid play. Radiance bottom no, they're just going mid. Gonna go for Ame. Okay. Silence guarantees it. Continue to punish the Ursa. That is the the best feeling in this game. As Ame stares into the abyss. <laughs> it stares right back. He's questioning why he asked for the Ursa warrior. God, he had, oh, it was Gyrocopter. That was the other one. Man, he does some questionable uh, carries for poor old Ame. I mean, Gyro's a fine hero. Uh, that one I was. Yeah, but those are terrible Gyro games. They, were, oh, they threw those games, to be fair. Dragon Tail stun into Inkswell stun into Blast off. Him. RT's making a break for it, but he will die to the final couple of shots. What? Now, Soulbind onto the two cores as well. They're too fast to immediately jump on, though. Yes. Still a reactive taser. That's a pretty good one. That's the swell DK. They're going to get another one. Kid Track is the reactive taser on him, so they can't kill him immediately, but they'll get him eventually. Maybe hitting tier two this early is a is a so you're stepping taking a step too far here for Shopify. That was that was way too disrespectful. He almost had BKB done too. You could do that play once you have BKB, I think. Though I guess he yeah. did get uh, chain stun pretty well. If they keep losing, pick off it. Oh, he didn't quite make it up the cliff. Oh, that's that's so sad. Uh, are they somehow going to lose this game? They're up 9k. Uh, you know, they got plenty of room to give. No Battle Fury yet. But if they keep giving pick offs, then the Ursa might sneak in a Roshan and things get a little bit weirder. I don't know. Like, <laughs> how is this guy getting to hit creeps at all? From the the position they were in. Uh, cause they disrupted their game plan of running around killing heroes to running around trying to kill a tower. And they're back to that Radiance same game plan. They're going to go back to that tower. I mean, to be fair, if they take this tier two, they take the outpost in the triangle, they can hold that area a lot better. Right? Radiance yeah, but that's an argument you can make for it. You get the towers by, like, smoke killing the guy at the tower and X those up. You know, like this type of play, right? Super easy. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Is this the lane? I mean, it might be. They just picked up the death token. Dragon Tail stun. Inkwell stuns. He has to ult, though. Ooh, they threw him back. They're going to run down Ame here. They realize, like, wait a minute. They jumped us. 
Nobody died. They didn't have any damage. We could just kill them. Right, they're just missing the DK form. They will soul bind now. Look for the double stun. They'll get it. A lot of damage. Oh, Exo the exorcism ran out and they just came back and healed them at the perfect time. They threw all their damage on a hero that full healed. Now, Shopify don't need to dive tier fours. They could just take the lane of barracks and they'll do just that. Pre-20 lane. Just when you thought they were going to somehow throw this game, they bring it back. I always had faith. <laughs> Spooky minds. Yo, Podge, with the Heaven's Halberd, Shiva's... Double Halberd. What's next? I mean, whatever he wants. Whatever he wants. Get some mules. Heart got buffed recently. Any chance we see Heart again? Nah. There's a guy on the NA server who goes first item Ag's DP. Uh, it sounds like hot trash. Yeah, I've reported him like three times. <laughs> but he wins, so <laughs> maybe it's good. <laughs> Stop stolen mines for the Rubik. He's laid down a couple. That's going to be trouble as they try and push into Shopify, trying to punish them after they took a lane of barracks. Busty, they needed to get busty. some sort of punish. And, oh, my God, one kill, but now he's going to get run down to the river like a dog, like a bad bear. <laughs> Fuzzy Wuzzy don't feel so good. <laughs> Fuzzy Wuzzy. Wasn't fuzzy. What? How is how are these odds like two to one and a half? Well, is this thing on crack? Like, what? <laughs> it, it it's no doubt delayed <laughs> because those are probably the odds from like I don't know five minutes ago or something. Radio okay, yeah. I mean five minutes ago they were up ten k. <laughs> yeah, but the, you know Shopify then throwing it. Happens. Maybe that's maybe those are the odds at the draft screen <laughs> <laughs> I think from minute five take it in tier two they could do the tormentor if they want but the way that Shopify's balling out right now yeah, they're gonna go high ground with another exo go high ground again I mean every exo you just you just jam it in man. there's no hope in the five on five shortest game oh we're past it oh yeah what's the point of that stat it doesn't all right, trying to burst the Death Prophet. The bear has been jumped. The bear is gone. He has no buyback because we are only 22 minutes in this game. Soulbind soul. holding back Yopaj, but now he's been freed, and the Soulbind is turned back on the extreme instead. They're being farmed just outside of their fountain at this point. The ghosts somehow don't finish off the techies, but uh, they'll probably finish off XM without a problem. I do respect them playing this out. It is admirable, but it will be called here. Yeah, you suggested a GG out like seven minutes ago, so That's, they really didn't make it much longer. That is the North American player in me, but I was indeed validated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you were. I mean, that game was absolutely over. I don't know what the idea was, but those lanes were borderline unplayable.